blood your home. There's been a virus outbreak. It's a mutating virus. Now, here is the different stages of the virus. If you recover from it, it's, you can have the minor side effects. They found that there are certain people connects it, has this genetic mutation gene in them that can affect them. The thing is, it's just real minor. You become a, you heal faster or whatever. Or it may be just stronger or you can see better or you can run faster. Whatever it is, it's not real grasped for most of them. But it's enough that people would know if they was aware of this condition, you know. But another part of the mutation one is the regression of the human race, homo sapiens. They would, some of them would start regressing back to the times were like 10,000 years ago and 20,000 years ago. They would start regressing back to what man was and woman was during that time span. Now, everybody would regress at different points. Now, some of them, the, the mutation would not be severe. It would be just like a, uh, a child learning all over again. They would still have the mind of a child in many ways. But they're still aware of who they are and who you are and things like that. To the point of being an animal, animal-like creature. That's a uh, very dangerous, very aggressive, very unpredictable, and could kill you in a heartbeat in self-defense. I mean, he knows this person here would know nothing, but that time period. The worst of the mutation is what was called the flesh eater, the zombie possible thing. The government and the programs have already decided that if people mutate to that level. They're automatically put down. If people mutate to this uh, animal-like state, they are put down. Now, the main reason they put them down, here's what they say. That if they bite you, there's a chance you will mutate. And flesh hitters are automatically dangerous because their goal is to kill the creatures, another thing, they go and survive, they're dangerous. Put them down, save the human race, you know. Best. And then the, all the other people would end up in these colonies, these FEMA groups, com complexes and stuff. They would have to remain there until which time they are decided. Now here is the requirement. Everybody is to report when somebody is sick. And they are to be picked up and taken in. That is the requirement. If you have been bitten, you are required to contact him. Bottom line. So, this is what the thing is. You got sick. You didn't die. 30% of the people would die. 40% would be immune. And 30% would mutate at some form or level. You didn't die. <clears throat> you got a slight mutation to it, maybe. Say you're just, uh, you heal better. You know, you heal up quicker. Just say with slight mutation, so you can kind of keep that head. So now here you are with these friends and these family, and there's a man and a woman both sick. Do you call this uh, program to come and pick them up and haul them off, knowing that you may never see them again? Knowing this, because they're not going to tell you anything. I mean, they might turn around and put them right back on your doorstep when they get better. They might just say, well, you know, I'm sorry they passed away. You know, I'm sorry they became this. We had to put them down um, or whatever. They might tell you something and they might not. You just don't know. Okay, would you tie these people down, rough it out with them through it, try to take care of them. You know, if they don't die, you don't have to call them about it to come haul, pick the dead body up. And if they don't mutate... You, they don't have to know. But let's say they mutated. You got to worry about that. Will you take the gun to their head and put them out of their misery? If they mutated into that creature, that animal like creature that's very unpredictable, very savage, or very dangerous, or the flesh eater one. And they both can turn around and bite other people and infect other people. Would you rather do that yourself knowing that you did it yourself because you know there's a chance they're going to 
take an experiment on these people. You know they're going to cut them up like lab rats and study them. You don't want that to happen. Or would you rather just go ahead and call them and say, come and get them. I don't want to fool with them. I don't want to take that chance. So let's just come and get them. And uh, if we see them again, we will. If not, we're not. So which would you do? You know how things are going to be. Would you go ahead and report them? To wash your hands of it, not be worried with them, no one had food with them. Or would you turn around and do uh, do it yourself? And if they mutate, like, and, and they made a promise to them, say, if you mutate, I'll put you out of your misery. You know, bottom line. That's what I'll do. If you mutate, I'll put you out of your misery. Uh, I made my promise. I'm not going to let you go to those facilities. So which would you do? Would you keep them there? Take care of them? Hope they don't mutate. If they do, they come with these couple of these choices of creatures. Would you put them out of their misery? Or if they're in a minor stage and still have some capacity of human in them, understanding, would you just let them go? You know, let them run out the door? Or would you hide them? Or what would you do? It's kind of an interesting question or something like that. What would you do in a situation like that with a virus? It has a mutating side effect to it of at different levels. Let me know what you would do. It's kind of interesting and kind of hard question too. I guess it depends on who the person is. If it's my neighbor or something other, or maybe somebody I don't like to begin with, and they're sick. I guess I'll go ahead and call because I don't want to fool with them. But if it's your child or your family member or your parents or something other, your brother or your sister, maybe your best friend. It's a hard choice to make, isn't it? It really is. I guess it depends on the person. And I guess it depends on how tired of people are of them just hauling them off in the meat wagon and never seeing them again. Who knows? So what would you do?